Do you have a reoccurring cough? Sometimes feel a tightness in your chest? Do your eyes sting? Burn sometimes when you step out? Does your child have a cough that doesn't settle? Has someone in your family or you been recommended steroids due to a prolonged cough and cold? This might be the effect of air pollution. Air pollution is described as a silent killer. Difficult to see and almost impossible to escape, air pollution is caused by the presence of particulate matter such as dust, dirt and gases such as uh, sulphur dioxide, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide due to emissions from cars, factories, fires, stubble burning, crackers, etc. Today, almost 9 out of 10 individuals living in urban areas globally are affected by air pollution. Today, breathing polluted air for a long time is expected to have the same effect of smoking a pack of cigarettes a day. India today is ranked as one of the most polluted countries in the world. Today, pollution is ranked as one of the greatest threats to human health in India and can reduce life expectancy by five years. And we all know the situation with the NCR region. Delhi has been ranked as the capital city with the worst quality of air in the world for the fourth year in a row. And as it has been widely reported, Delhi's air quality slipped to severe, the worst category on the index on a few occasions already in just the past few weeks. Doctors, in fact, in the NCR region have pointed to a sudden surge in patients with respiratory symptoms just in the past two to three weeks. Let's start with the short-term impact of air pollution. Doctors point out that a rise in pollution can irritate and cause inflammation of the airways. The main respiratory linked symptoms include the likes of shortness of breath, coughing, wheezing and nasal problems. Exposure to air pollution is expected to be worse for children. Doctors point out that children lack a fully developed pulmonary metabolic capacity, making them more susceptible to air pollutants compared to adults. Symptoms in children include reoccurring and longer duration coughs and colds, shortness of breath, fresh onset or more frequent asthma attacks. So how is exposure to air pollution being treated? The first line of treatment is to treat the symptoms with a hope that the underlying immunity is sufficient to overcome the short-term effects. Doctors generally begin with anti-allergy drugs and over-the-counter nasal sprays. If symptoms persist, doctors have moved to prescribing stronger drugs such as steroid-based inhalers and nebulizers. In fact, there has been around a 25% rise in inhaled steroids being prescribed to patients in cities such as Delhi in just the past one to months. And what are the long-term effects of continuous exposure to air pollution? Doctors say chronic inflammation of the airways caused due to irritation on account of pollution can lead to conditions such as fresh onset, increased or aggravated asthma attacks, which include symptoms such as wheezing and tightness in the chest. Air pollution in the longer term also causes chronic obstructive pulmonary disorders or COPD. COPD basically means constricted airflow from the lungs. COPD can present in forms such as chronic coughs or even a condition called emphysema that causes shortness of breath a condition generally seen among smokers. Air pollution has also been linked to strokes, lung cancer, type 2 diabetes, systemic inflation. And while it is difficult to assess the data on how it affects severe conditions, experts say pollution affects one's basic quality of life. From a consistently sick child to a person with aggravated asthma on heavy steroids to manage their condition. Lastly, what can you do? Doctors have advised wearing masks and avoiding areas with low air quality index. In the future, while we may scoff at the thought now, but doctors don't rule out people carrying oxygen concentrators either.